Okay, so here is another example, and though it's a little bit more complicated than what we've seen uh, up to this point, it is very common. Okay, so uh, quickly revise our steps. First step, we find the center. Okay, next step is the amplitude. Sorry, not amplitude, period. Okay, period. Doesn't really matter in which order you do uh, some of these things. Okay, divide the period into four. Fourth, uh, third step, find the amplitude. Okay, and fourth step, we find the direction. Okay, the direction. Okay, so the center for y is equal to 2 cos. For the center, we take x make it equal to, or whatever is inside here make it equal to 0 so in this case x is equal to 0 but cos of 0 when x is equal to 0 is equal to 1 and 2 cos x plus 3 will then be 2 times 1 which is 2 plus 3 it's 5 okay so this point 0 comma 5 is going to be my starting point 0 comma 5 is going to be my starting point now for the center line we know the center line is that which is added outside of the function so there's the center line is at 3 and this is is, is probably all you need other than uh, the period next to actually draw this graph okay most of it is already included but let's go on to the period the period we see is oh, is 360 okay for the period we take 360 and divide with the coefficient of x in this case it's 1 so our three and our period is 360 so it's somewhere here wherever that is um, and when we divide it into 4 we see it is at 180 90 270 360 same in the negative direction negative 90 negative 180 will be somewhere there okay and then we see that the amplitude in this case is whatever is in front of the function multiplying the function okay um, that is the amplitude amplitude is how high I go above the x-axis in this case two units above the x-axis and there we see oh but we already had that okay so there's two units above the x-axis and two un oh, sorry the center line and two units below the center line okay so those are my boundaries my graph must stay within these two lines okay and then finally the direction that direction is just do I start on the top or at the bottom now having done the center right in the beginning I already found where I'm going to start all I know, need to know now is that I'm heading down. Okay, so this is the four, the four parts of my uh, my period was to determine my the positions I want to reach. I want to reach that point. I want to be at my center line. At this point, I want to be at my minimum. And at that point, I want to be back at my center line. And at 360, which would be somewhere there, I want to be back there again opposite direction but same idea back there and at 180 I want to be there now please don't go and draw straight lines through this because that is possible okay no they take these this curvy shape like that there's absolutely no sharp points in the trig graphs no sharp points okay so there it goes so that I end more or less there so and get there okay and uh, that's it. That was drawing that function in probably about four minutes with explanations. That's not bad. See you in the next video.